What's up guys? It is I, once again, MrGamer990 and welcome to another part of our Let's Play series on Bioshock Remastered and here we go guys, we're back and uh, last episode Frank Fontaine actually revealed himself to be from Atlas to Frank Fontaine, you know, the real main baggie, uh, baddie and uh, Madame uh, Tinnebaum and the uh, little sisters helped us out and we're in Olympus Heights and Frank Fontaine had this virus in us which is decreasing our I think our Adam and uh, or whatever it is in our system and it's lowering our health, our tonics, our Eve, everything he's been planning this for a very long time and we were created by uh, Frank Fontaine uh, the when, uh, during uh, uh, you know, Jackie Boy's birth. So obviously he had made preparations in case things don't go his way. And whatever goes Frank Fontaine's way, it always happens, guys. It does because Frank Fontaine really makes a mistake. But now, after the shit he's done, he's gonna pay for it. And we're going to, uh, you know, uh, find the deal of sisters and rescue them. There are, I think, two in this place, Olympus Heights. And we're going to rescue the little sisters before we proceed onwards. And uh, during the episode, we're going to lose our, uh, our like, Adam more and more. And it's going to be pretty bad, but we'll manage. The uh, big daddy just summoned the little sister, and we're going to use the electric gel. It's going to not only stun uh, the big daddy, but it will also allow us to kill him with little to no problem. When the but that's why it's going to be an issue because he's throwing Molotov cocktails and it's pretty annoying and uh, yeah, we're gonna kill this uh, big daddy as fast as we can and we're gonna deal with that fucker. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes. Wow, nice shot, dude. Oh, you motherfucker. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, these guys are everywhere. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. And uh, big daddy will go. He's behind us, yeah. He's right behind us and we're dead. Wow, fucking A man. You know what I hate? When these guys interrupt us at the very crucial moment we're about to kill the big daddy. And dude, where are you running, dude? Where the fuck are you running? Hey, fuck face. Hey. Yes, I do. Hey, have an arrow, you bitch. Hey, bitch, hold still. Fuck you. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck you. And, oh, you're lonely and you're dead. Stupid motherfucking cunt. Jesus, these guys annoy me. I mean, guys, I have never in my life encountered these splices to be such a nuisance. And that camera is even more of a pain. But where's the big daddy? I mean, the big daddy has to be here some... Oh, fuck me. We're going around in circles now. Guys, the big daddy's not here. Oh my god. How can these guys be so annoying? I mean, one minute he was here, next minute he vanished. I have no idea what the big daddy went to. Did he fly to the sky or something? Wow, guys, these splicers can be the difference maker. They really can, in the wrong way. But we're gonna find that damn big daddy and rescue the old princess. Huh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Busto, really? Oh, I really hate Frank Fontaine. I can't wait to get our hands around his little neck. Finally, we found the big bastard, and we're going to kill him this time with no interruption. No interruption. There we go. Fuck you. So. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Thank god, there are no, like, those splicer bastards. And we're going to switch back to our, our uh, wrench. And, uh, there we go. The wrench. And, well, what the fuck was that? Let's get her. One down, but guys, how did he go from there to here? I think he did flew. Not in the sky, but in Rapture. And Adam improved every aspect of man except his character. Perhaps there is a plasmid that can grow the spirit. Perhaps in your DNA, the secret life. I've sent a little one with some goodies to help ease your burden. Oh, 
guys, uh, she's so sweet, uh, Madame Tenenbaum, because, you know, we're putting our lives on the line for her and your little sister. And I, I don't ask for anything in return, no. I mean, I, I do this even for free. It's like I make videos for free, but what Jackie Boy is going through to save the little princess, to give them a second chance, it really does come from the heart and not something you need to pay him for. Even if you betray him, he'd still do it because, you know, the little princesses. Plus, they're too cute to not save, you know? The little sister is here somewhere. We just need to destroy the camera. Where's the fucking camera? Guy, there it is. Uh, bingo. Good. I love using the crossbow. It's gonna work very effectively later in the game. But we're going to use the flamethrower more often than the uh, crossbow and any, any other weapon because obviously we upgraded it and where's the big daddy? But it's going to be very effective against Fontaine when we face him and yes, he's the final boss and uh, this tour over here, I won't bother finding the code I'm going to look up online because, you know, that's how I roll Rock on, baby But let's find the big daddy That Tannenbaum ain't what you think Florence Nightingale, huh? That'll all come crashing down for you can say. Can tomatoes. I've seen good bunko, and I've seen great bunko. But when you walk through Rapture and World War II without even a scratch, you got more than leprechauns watching over you. Guys. What was he talking about? I mean, I, I didn't even pay attention. Either he was talking bullshit, I just don't know. Yes, we thought we were making progress with our skin up boxes and our electric shocks. I don't like this any more than you do, kid. But you gotta understand where I'm coming from. I got 12 years down here. Big investment. Man can't walk away from a long con like that. I'm sure. And guys, uh, Fontaine is our daddy, but he uh, he's that kind of daddy who is pretty abusive to be honest, but he gets what he wants. And like I said before, what Frank Fontaine wants, it always happens his way, or it does. And this woman was eating the corpse or she was cooking some buffet, I have no idea, but too bad she won't, you know, uh, uh, finish it and have dessert because, you know, she... Yeah. I knew there was something to that. Always secret when we see John, always. He must have his lot 192 in his lab near Apollo Square. I once stole a dose and brought it back to my flat on the second floor, but that still ate would have taken it back to Fontaine and down the stairs. I never knew what lot 192 was for, but Su Chang was doing something in secret. Of this, I keep my eyes. Yeah, and you know guys, when uh, Dr. Shugong was talking about how Frank Fontaine would become this, uh, this authority figure in Rapture, who rules it with an iron fist, he was a con man. But guys, every uh, single like, uh, you know, political figure or, or like these... Uh, You know, every single uh, leader of every country, no matter which country it is, they've always done what's necessary in order to uh, make their country better. Whether you like it or not, they do what they have to. If we being a con man and cheating people of their money, they will do it. And guys, you may not like them, but you have to respect them. And honestly, I respect these kind of uh, men and women who do it ever, ever necessary. Because honestly, this world is already fucked up. You have to do whatever it takes. Plus, my mama always told me that uh, if 
If you want something, you take it. You don't just ask for it. You don't beg for it like a little doggy. But you know what I'm gonna enjoy, guys? I'm gonna enjoy blowing this big daddy up. I mean, aww, a tummy swirl. I'm sorry, princess. It'll all be over soon. But now, he's going down. Oh, no, princess, no. I don't want you to kill me. No, no, please, princess. You're too cute. You shouldn't think of murder. Should I'm gonna murder him. Back. Oh, 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 shitty shit shit. This guy's still- um, uh, Princess, I'll get back to you soon. I'll get back to you soon. But I need to find where that fucker is. Oh, there he is. And uh, there you go, fucker. There you go. Wow, a bastard. Ain't he? Where did he go? He vanished. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, mister. Thank you. You're welcome, Avu. And uh, we need to uh, buy a lot of uh, health pack or first aid kits and we need to get the money that we missed over here because, you know, we're full. Our wallet is pretty full, actually. We need to find one of those, like, what do you say, uh, just like those stores and stuff. And we can upgrade our weapon. Uh, what we upgrade, uh, let's see. Uh, the pistol damage. Oh, yeah. The pistol fuck it. I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. I have a store. Oh, three. Nice. And, guys, uh, I mean, I, I kind of, you know, regretted upgrading the pistol in the, the last episode or the last couple of episodes ago, but I'm, I think I'm actually pretty happy now. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, when you get unlucky, it actually is your greatest luck, you know. Yeah, it makes any sense, and I doubt it does. But uh, let's go and uh, find that, uh, you know, the cure for Jackie Boy. Oh, look where we are. Abandoned apartment. I just put save, by the way. It's to ensure that the game doesn't freeze on us. And plus, uh, it was just for, you know, uh, safe precaution and stuff. And, uh, this abandoned apartment, it's pretty creepy, then again, this is Bioshock, a lot of things in the game are creepy. Your town, dude, it's abandoned, it doesn't belong to you, it belongs to Fontaine, and dude, we're right here, oh, guys, where did he just go? Why was he going over there? I mean, was he like, uh, trying to find uh, where the enemy was? I mean, that's us, I mean, we're right here, dude, there's no one there, I mean, uh, loco. Sometimes these splices amaze me. They amaze me how fucking stupid they can be. And what's this? Ah, good cat. Wait, is this a real cat? Oh, it's a real cat, a corpse. Damn. I mean, I feel bad when a little girl or uh, any human being die, but seeing a little cat like that, um, it just, ugh, you know? But yeah. And uh, we found our first aid kit, but at the cost of our own life, and that's pretty bad, but hey, at least we got our first aid kit, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's our daddy, he was there when we was born, and uh, he's got to put this dog down. I mean, I really love his, uh, his voice, you know, like I said before, it's not just the most uh, distinguishable, distinguishable voice, it's also the most uh, memorable, because Frank Fontaine, the actor who played him especially, He's a damn great voice actor, and uh, I give him uh, best actor of the year in video games. I mean, no questions asked. I mean, this guy, his voice, when you hear that voice, your first thought is Frank Fontaine. That actor really deserves a lot of uh, recognition for his voice acting. I mean, he's that damn good, and he knows it. But we need to use a uh, crossbow uh, on that uh, cam over there. The crossbow is very lethal, and it's very accurate. It goes pew, straight forward. And uh, I really love the crossbow. It kind of reminds me of uh, Daryl Dixon from uh, The Walking Dead. Then again, every other YouTuber who ever used a crossbow in their playthrough, their first thought is Daryl Dixon. As much as I love Daryl though, he's not uh, my favorite character. I mean, he used to be my favorite character, but now I would have to say it's Rick Grimes, and Daryl's obviously number two. And my current one is a recent character in season seven. It's Negan, big bad Negan and his girl, Lucille. 
Oh yeah, baby. Lucille is life and love. And pick up this uh, tape. Looks like things have gone buster between Fontaine and his little German Nico. Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with any spooky crowd when he could be getting the gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even he set the door code to 5744. Maybe to be double sure that Nico don't spout up in his yard again. Wow, uh, he's obviously talking about uh, Madame Tenenbaum. I mean, that guy has no respect for a woman. I mean, what can you say, men? Look at my home, Whoa. torn apart by Fontaine and his pigs. No doubt he had the yeah. samples of Lot 192 taken to his penthouse. Entrance is in lobby, but the damn thing is always locked. You will not believe me, but there was a time when this place was also beautiful. Guys, she's right. It used to be, but now shit like this and this. Honestly, guys, I mean, after all the shit that happened in Rapture, I feel sad for the little sisters and Madame Tenenbaum and shit like this. Like I said before, men. Oh. What are you looking for? Some kind of mental incompetence? We tossed Mother Goose's roost the moment she decided to grow conscience. You will find Uh, what do we do? I mean, honestly, if we do want to know our memory or whatever you're talking about, then uh, that's our choice, you know? Where exactly is this arrow pointing to? I mean, it went down. We went to the library, but there's nothing unless there's something we're missing, like down here. I think there is, I just can't seem to spot it. So you go this way, but wait, it's locked. Oh, wait, is this a lock? How do you open it? I mean, how? Is there like a secret passage or something? Or we have to go uh, above? Or where exactly? And we did! That was a lock apparently. And that's uh, a big daddy and he took down this uh, lady but she's not dead for some reason. I mean, he's hitting her or rather he's uh, pushing her away and uh, he, she's not dead. It's amazing how weak these big daddies are unless you provoke them. talking shit uh, like Frank Fontaine. I can understand where he's coming from, and I do guys, but honestly, what he's talking about now, and how delusional he is, he really has lost touch, and he really has gone mad. I mean, Whoa, Frank Fontaine is truly a tyrant and a monster. I mean, I really don't want to judge a character as either a monster or someone who's selfish, but Frank Fontaine really fits that uh, description. I mean, he really is, in every sense of the word, a monster. But we're going to uh, end the episode right here. I'm going to continue to explore uh, Olympus Heights more. And I'm going to uh, obviously look up online the code for uh, that elevator, which is where we have to go to, as indicated by the arrow. And until next time, uh, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.